Okay, so just going to do a quick demo for how to download data from the uh, Natural Resource Conservation Service uh, Geospatial Data Gateway. Uh, this is one of a few uh, very useful sources of public GIS information, uh, totally free and um, yeah, fairly easy to get a hold of. So when you go to the landing page, um, it looks like this. Uh, you first select your state. So in the case of, uh, say, North Carolina, we choose that. And then it gives county options within that. Grab a county, uh, throw that in the selected area here, and then submit the selected counties. And then you can see it gives you all these sources of information. Uh, Tiger 2010 census blocks, census, that's if you want to do demographic uh, analysis. A bunch of climate information, uh, most of that is in raster format. Um, easement, elevation, uh, this is fairly useful data, um, also in raster format, but just a, a digital elevation model of the state. Three meter, as you can see, is a very large file, it's about one and a half gigs, but there are a few uh, coarser resolution versions of that that might be useful. Um, geographic names, that'll give you basically a point for every village, cemetery, mountaintop, um, anything that's in the registry. Uh, Within that, there should also be uh, some land use. Um, ortho imagery is fairly large as far as a file size is concerned, but it's um, if you can download it, it's really useful to have on hand. In this case, you can see that the, um, the National Agricultural Imagery Program flew uh, the entire county in 2012. It's about 600 megabytes, um, but that's imagery at one meter resolution for the entire county. Uh, then Lastly, as a point of reference, you might want to grab the uh, topographic images, um, which are similar to the ones included in the, uh, the Rutland demo data packet for assignment five. And then there's also transportation uh, roads. There should be, um, there might be rail in there as well. But uh, basically all the reference information you should need for your area is available right here. Uh, if you select one of the data sets and hit continue, uh, just to ask you how you want it delivered. Usually go with the Esri shape file. Uh, the projection doesn't usually matter that much. If you're dealing with other local data, you'll probably want the state plane version for whichever data uh, for whichever your area is. But a fair, a very interoperable format is geographic WGS84. Uh, then delivery by FTP uh, is free. So once you hit continue. It'll prompt you for a bunch of information, but once you've submitted this, uh, they'll send you a email with a link to where to download the data. And then it just comes in a bunch of compressed folders uh, very quickly and is fairly easy to deal with.